Thanks everyone uh, for joining. And uh, I'm gonna talk a little bit about Remote App, uh, which uh, is a, a great tool for actually getting that GP client onto your local machine or wherever you might be. So uh, let's take a peek. So Remote App is, if you've heard of Remote Desktop before, uh, it is a type of remote desktop, uh, but as you'll see in the demo I'm going to provide, it's, uh, it's without the desktop. It's kind of like the application is stripped and just delivered uh, uh, you know, independently to your workstations. Um, you'll see uh, in this demo how similar it looks to running GP locally. Uh, we'll take a look here, but you know, your individual applications are, are published directly. Let's jump in and take a look. So this is my demo machine. This is just a, a Windows 10 virtual machine. And uh, if we were going to add this machine to remote app, uh, it's very simple. We would you'd get a link once you have remote app set up in your environment, and you would just paste the link after uh, opening up this remote uh, app window here in the uh, add remote app and desktop sections. You paste the link in here, you'd log in. And then what it's going to do is publish the remote app applications to your desktop and they look just like they're installed locally. They're in your start menu and everything. So I can run GP, and this is actually running from a server uh, in Azure. And so the nice thing is, it doesn't matter how bad my home internet is. If, if, it's, if it's good enough to browse the web, it's good enough to run GP, because I'm just sending the screenshots, the keystrokes, and the mouse clicks into my workstation here. I'm not doing uh, the whole client locally, which is, which is also good because if my internet is interrupted for some reason, you know, I'm not going to corrupt that batch that I was working on. I can reconnect to that session because the session is actually running on a server in Azure. I'm just kind of looking at it and controlling it, you know, remotely. So uh, the, the great thing about uh, remote apps specifically is like in contrast to some of the limitations we saw at the web client, this is almost in completely in the other direction. So I can, you know, drag these windows around and you know, if you've got multiple monitors, I can drag them to multiple monitors. You know, check out the start on a taskbar, you know, integration as the arrow peak look just like it was installed locally. And so, you know, I can work independently with these windows and GP, uh, move them around, you know, and say I want to email this document. I can click on that right there. It's, you know, it's got Outlook integration with Office 365. If you're using that, I can send that out directly, you know, I have, I'm going to run an email locally on my uh, VM here, and I can see that invoice gets sent out just there like that. And you can customize these word templates, put, you know, logos on them, that type of thing. So you've got a lot of, a uh, lot of capability, you know, right from here, you can run all of your office applications in the cloud. And uh, we're going to do a technical deep dive on that next week. Uh, and I invite everybody to attend that if you want to kind of answer your questions about how to run remote app uh, for GP. You know, if you've got a remote desktop server in your environment now, you can do it. Uh, you don't need to be in Azure or, or on, on Crestwood Cloud to, to implement this. And, you know, we want to help everybody get to you know, a, a remote working model as quickly as possible. So if you, know, if you can't do lift and shift into Azure in time, that's okay. Um, but if you are interested, uh, we're going to, like I said, we're going to talk through you know, the technical pieces of getting a uh, remote app implemented in your environment um, and also uh, you know, how Crestwood Cloud fits in. Uh, our product at Crestwood Cloud is hosting your ERP in Azure. Uh, so you have a private uh, environment inside Azure that we can right size to your organization. Uh, and, you know, you've got your database in there, you know, your remote app server, everything is ready to go and you have access to that environment uh, since it is just you know for each client uh, you've got the ability to go in there and make changes you know if you have to you know run custom reports or if you need database level access and stuff like that it's no problem we can provide that um, but you know the Crestwood Cloud product also includes the backups which are delete protected so it's really nice the best kind of a backup is a backup that you don't have access to delete that I don't have access to delete either and that is how the uh, recovery services vault in Azure protects your system from, from ransomware. There's a backup of your entire uh, org that is moved out to a separate platform product within Azure. So we can't even delete those backups once they're created. We can just submit a request to have them deleted in two weeks, which of course triggers off all kinds of alarm bells. And that's great because then if your environment, worst case scenario, you know, you know, ransom attack happens, it's trivial to just roll it back to the instant snapshots, you know, that were last available. Uh, we can also 
do we call full recovery mode in SQL so we can back up and restore at any time, any time, not just when a backup was taken like daily, but at like 1256, you know, before a batch was run that damaged some data because we've got that kind of real to real tape backup of the SQL transaction log. Uh, so, you, of course, you can connect from anywhere. Like we just looked at um, on many devices and it's SSL secured. So it's great to have that flexibility if you're in a coffee shop or wherever you might need to, to connect from, you know, to be able to access your GP from anywhere like we just demoed. Uh, and the, the whole environment is monitored and maintained by Crestwood. So if there's high CPU or if you run out of disk space, we're getting alerts proactively reaching out to clients and saying, hey, you know, we need to um, take a look at your environment. Something's going on. You know, we're also doing the patching and the security monitoring for the environment too to make sure that it's up and stable and that, you know, you've got all the latest security and updates from Microsoft and Office and Windows. So a uh, really uh, easy way for users to get in and, and have access to, to GP from, from anywhere. Okay, great. And uh, one more, this just says, uh, to move to the Crestman cloud, do you have to upgrade the system? Oh, ben, I'm gonna let you take that one. <laughs> uh, no, you don't have to. And um, although we, we do recognize that it's, usually an ideal opportunity to do an upgrade. Uh, it's not necessary. Uh, we can support uh, versions of GP all the way back to 2013. Uh, so especially if you're looking to move uh, very quickly, which you know the current climate um, kind of requires, um, no, an upgrade isn't necessary. Uh, they would call that a lift and shift where we would just take the existing uh, you know, known good combination of GP and any ISVs that you have and just bring those right into the cloud you know, to get you up and running as quickly as possible.